Lucas Media. So, Bronny James played last night against the Houston Rockets and Reed Shepard. Now, when I watched the game, it says he went, scored eight points, five rebounds, three of 14 field goals, and 0 and 8 from three pointers. Now, I also seen Reed Shepard out there. Reed Shepard was cooking at one point, and I seen where they switched Bronny in. You know, I seen a lot of content creators come out basically saying he's overrated, trash. Shout out to Ticket TV. I seen uh, Ticket TV's live last night, and I wanted to wait just to sit on it, you know, a day. And I'm going to be honest, man. I'm going I'm to be honest. You know, Bronny going to have to get an inner Kobe in him. You know, and I and I noticed that ESPN as well. Y'all know that ESPN, they tweaking when it comes to Bronny. They're kind of tweaking the rules. They're, uh, they keep saying, well, he's a he's a project. You know, this ain't, this is a, a multi-year project. He's the first project. You know, oh, he only scored eight points, but he's very scrappy out there. You know, he, he brings more to the team than just scoring points. Okay, well, fine. So are y'all going to get that same energy for other NBA players? And the answer is no, you know? So I kind of, I, I feel bad for, for Bronny because at the end of the day, Bronny don't deserve this. Bronny doesn't deserve what's coming to him. But Rich Paul and LeBron have rushed the process. I don't know if LeBron going to retire this year. I don't know what, but one more year could have helped him, you know? He, and this, this against summer league players. Yes, they're top basketball players. But come on now, what you think Patrick Bebby gonna do? Gonna do with Bronny, Donovan Mitchell, any of these people that's gonna start guarding him? What you think they finna lock Bronny down? You know, yes, Bronny had a couple of moments, a couple of moments, but those are flashes. You know, if you get drafted by the Lakers, you're the cream of the crop, right? This is the NBA. My cousin played in the NBA and came off the bench, and he's six eleven. Y'all remember Keon Clark? You know what I'm saying? He 6'11", was coming off the bench and was out there killing. Keon was a four-year player. I remember seeing Keon at UNLV the whole time, all four years. So if Keon was coming off the bench and he was doing way more than Bronny, how the hell Bronny scored four points and go to the NBA and he plays the exact same? So I don't know. Maybe Bronny needed a red shirt. Maybe they need to figure out how to red shirt him. But I keep saying that they're going to move him to the G League. Well, the G League ain't going to be no different than Summer League. They're going to be coming at his neck. And I just don't know, does Bronny have that mentality? Now, he might somehow, somehow become a great player. And I hope he does. Again, as a black father, I'm rooting for Bronny. But he's going to have to have that mama mentality in him, honestly. Honestly. And LeBron and Rich Paul have put him at a disadvantage because he's completely scrutinized. And it's funny because I remember him going to elementary school. People loved him. In middle school, people loved him. When he got to high school and his peers caught up, people was questioning, but people were still rooting, rooting for him. But when, but when people saw him at USC last year and he became the most hated, it was he wasn't even the best player at USC or in the game. He was out there getting cooked when he did get in the games. So I'm like, when he got drafted, I'm like, okay, maybe it's something that I'm not seeing. You know, I didn't play in the league maybe, but dude, you're playing against summer league players. And Reed Shepard was out there cooking, cooking, you know, but they don't want to talk about Reed Shepard. And I get it. Bronny brings the the money right now and like i said all this all this stuff is a business first they need to figure out what to do man stop stop putting points up ahead of i mean points minutes ahead of points to make it seem like Bronny is his best is his great player man no he gonna need some he's a real project so i don't know what the hell jj reddick talking about or rob palenka and no man this kid is not ready man he's just not i'm sorry and I see people say, oh, don't put too much stock in Summer League. You can tell by the talent. The talent's only going to get better. And I'm just going to go on, because Bronny's a tweener. Let's just name a couple of people. Can Bronny guard Shea Alexander? No. Luka Doncic? No. Jalen Brunson? No. Tyrese Halliburton? No. Kyrie Irving? Hell no. TJ McDonald? No. LaMelo Ball? No. Jamal Murray? No. Steph Curry? No. Trey Young? No. Can Bronny D up the Aaron Fox? I don't believe so. Colin Sexton? No. Maxie? No. Damon Lillard, hell no. Kay Cunningham, no. The list goes on and on, you know. Kenny, Kenny D up Tyler Hero, no. Shooting guards. Donovan Mitchell, no. Devin Booker, no. Anthony Edwards, he gonna get he gonna get completely cooked against Anthony Edwards. Jalen Brown, no. James Harden, no. Come on, man. No, 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 he's not ready. And that's okay. But come on, ESPN. Come on, man. Y'all doing y'all going too far with this, man. You know, but I I, I can't blame nobody but LeBron, man. LeBron asked for this, you know. And Brody. Bronny, see, Bronny was, and, you know, I have to say this with my son, too. And it's no knock. It's no knock. But when you come from a suburb and even with LeBron, a more, he was able to keep Bronny, it's the word I'm looking for. Because remember, he couldn't do no interviews, none of that. He was able to keep Bronny shelter and the narrative to be pushed a certain kind of way. 
But when you hit the big leagues, all criticism is fair because these are adults making millions of dollars from the fans. So you can't run and you can't run and duck and dodge anymore. So I don't know. I don't know. I hope I hope this really don't affect Bronny. And I hope somehow he can get this mama mentality or LeBron mentality, something, you know. But you can't say it's the training because he's always had the best trainers in the world. He's always he got his dad's one of the greatest players in the world. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's just Bronny's a very timid player to me. He plays, but he's not trying to be the best. And when you have the the if you're not out there like Zion or or his dad or Jason Tatum, you six one as a as a guard and you're really a tweener. You're going to have to be that guy. You're going to have to be that dude. You can't be out there and say, oh, I just want to be, you know, a, um, a Drew Holiday. No, you're going to have to be that guy. You're going to have to be that guy. Drew Holiday's that guy. I'm not trying to say he's not, but you're going to have to aim for the stars and land on the moon. Because right now, if you were aiming for the moon, you landed on the ground, man. You know, you better be trying. I mean, you better be shooting 2,000 shots a day, no days off, none of that. Like, your whole, like Ronnie said, or LeBron said, oh, man, Bronny, he, you know, he don't give a, he don't give a damn. He just, you know, he plays. He goes on and play video games. That's not what we need you to be doing right now. You're going to have to really get a mama mentality, man. I'm sorry, Bronny. If you ever were to hear this, it's all love. Again, as a black father, I'm rooting for you, you know, but I got to keep it real over here. I got to keep it real what I'm seeing. So I just want to get my quick thoughts. Tell me what y'all think. Am I tripping? Y'all think I'm hating? Do y'all agree, disagree? Let me know below.